Hey Virgos, welcome to your love reading from today to December 15th. Uh, those of you who are very aware who've been with me for a long time, I was in Sedona, could not work while I was there. Had to focus on me and it just is what it is. There's no such thing as late reading, you get it when you're supposed to get it, right? So Virgos, let's just dive right into this with the meditative session that I did. So Virgos, this is where Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, by the way. Oh, and welcome to Water Baby Tarot, I know. It's always hard to get back into the groove of things when you've been gone for a while. Anyway, Virgo. <clears throat> I got some interesting things for you. Uh, I heard the word shatter, golden compass, and where there's smoke, there's fire, okay? I actually feel a lot of like fire energy coming into your field, and I do feel like you're just in a really creative mode right now. Some of you could be, you know, dealing with a lot of like fire sign people or fire energy, but I do feel it's about being creative first and foremost on your path right now. Um, someone is trying to enter your field with gusto. I don't know, I wanna say gusto. Um, they won't be denied. Virgo is what I'm getting with that. They won't be denied. Um, and I do feel it's very karmic. There's something karmic about this energy that needs to be taken care of, needs to be wrapped up. Okay, and that's very indicative of the energy that we're in. Please close, close out all your karmic shit. Please do so. <laughs> Please do so uh, for the rest of the year. You, you know, not that you're going to regret not doing it, but you might. Just saying. I'm just being honest with you guys. Just being honest here. Um, Virgos, you also can't go back to the past. There's also an energy I was picking up with you guys. There's no going back. There's no going back. Um, and I feel like you're, go you're going to feel like someone's trying to get you back to the past and the way things used to be. That's how you're going to feel. I don't necessarily think that's accurate. I think it is someone that you've dealt with in the past, but I don't think they exact. I don't think they want to go back to how things were. I think they want something new with you, something that feels like a total new cycle. So I think you guys just need to wrap up some karmic shit between the two of you, and maybe you guys can move forward together. Maybe not. Depends on how you want to handle things. This could be in work, family, or love. I do feel like it is romance related, though. Okay, but I really want to re reiterate that. There is no such thing as going back to the past. Things will never be what they were in anything in life, by the way. In anything in life, they'll never be what they were. You're always moving forward. But just because someone's from the past doesn't mean the history has to repeat itself. Okay, they really want me to hit that home with you guys. This energy of shatter, though, is kind of bothering me. I have to be honest. This energy of shatter. Um, I feel like your perspective has changed in a situation. I'm feeling mediator. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm feeling mediator with this. Um, you've either been playing the mediator or like peacekeeper in a way, um, in a situation. Whether it's between you and one person or multiple, I feel like it affects multiple people, but I feel like it's primarily between you and another energy, but I feel like it affects multiple people. I mean, this could be within family, maybe it affects your kids or your external family. External? That's weird. Extended family. Don't know where external family came from. Maybe you have an external family situation. That's going to resonate for whoever that needs to resonate for. Um, yeah, you've been playing peacekeeper in a way. Mm -hmm. And it needs to stop. It needs to stop. Um, it's almost like you've been, and Virgos, don't take this the wrong way because I love you. It's like you've been maintaining chaos by being the peacekeeper. And I feel like you've been feeling the brunt of the chaos. No one else has because you've been playing the mediator, the peacekeeper, holding shit in place, holding chaos in place. But the second you let it go, I feel like you're almost afraid to let it go, whatever this is. It's like you've been holding tension of chaos in a situation. So other people haven't been feeling it, but you've been really feeling it. You've probably been feeling a lot like this internally. You're very anxiety ridden. It's not going to be for everybody, obviously. Um, the second you let that go you might feel like a train's just gonna crash, like like a huge like car crash is gonna happen energetically. And maybe it will, but it seems like it has to. Because whatever you've been doing with playing Peacekeeper, it hasn't been benefiting you. And to be honest, it seems like you're holding a situation together that needs to be not held, okay? Um, either needs to come to a head, neither needs to be wrapped up, or, or they need to resolve it amongst themselves. I don't know why I keep getting, it's like others are involved in this, and it's like, it's your, your time as Peacekeeper is done. Your time as peacekeeper is done. Uh, for some of you, there is a little bit of an ego involved in this. I'm just being honest here. It can be vice versa. You guys know how messages work. <sighs> yeah, Virgos, for some, it's almost like keeping the peace to hold a point or to make a point. But at the end of the day, it's doing more harm than anything. And it's making you crazy. It's filling you with anxiety. It's okay to be wrong sometimes. I don't know why that's coming through too. It's okay to be wrong sometimes. It's okay to let shit go, especially if it's making you like that. 
this is a time for wrapping shit up. I do feel a little bit of a death process here. And that is kind of the theme of, of energy we have going on right now to the end of the month. Okay. Virgos, let's get into your pre-shuffle. Now that we're five minutes into this, <clears throat> I'm using the Radiant Wise deck for anybody who's curious. All the decks I use are linked below. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Some of you are like, hmm. Some of you are really trying to cope with some feelings here of going about things in the wrong way with a certain person or many people. Like you're really kicking yourself. Don't kick yourself, Virgo. It's a learning lesson. It's a learning lesson, okay? And it's really going to help you grow the more you can learn to accept that, okay? Like I said, it can be vice versa. It could be someone in your environment feeling this way. Please ignore any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. From now to the 15th of December... <clears throat> so weird why am i getting hitler what the hell is this about oh that put me on edge real quick <laughs> i was like oh where are we going here um maybe some guys are history buffs that is really weird i don't know why that's coming in it's really bothering me it's actually making me really really uncomfortable um <laughs> oh. uh, some of you could feel like you're dealing with a tyrant it's making me so uncomfortable virgo yeah if that's the case i think this is how this person makes you feel well, this is not for everybody. It's coming in so fucking strong. Uh, <laughs> uh, some of you guys could be Jewish. And maybe that's why this is coming through. Oh, I had a feeling my reads were going to be a little different moving forward after everything that happened in Sedona. Yeah, I'm picking up on some ancestral shit here. Okay, some ancestral shit here that needs to be resolved. Um, it's just healing that needs to happen. Some purging that needs to happen. Shit that needs to be let go of. Okay, and I'm not saying... <clears throat> I'm not saying to just get over Hitler. I'm not saying that. But we can, again, we can't go back to the past. We can't change the past. The past is the past, right? All we can do is learn from it and let that shit go. Let that shit go. Please let that go. Sounds like that's some family wounding right there. Um, hold on. How is this manifesting? I'm getting a lot of solar energy with this. <sighs> yeah, I'm getting a lot of solar energy with this. Um... A lot of fear, like a lot of um, making moves, making decisions based off of fear, like being um, almost um, overzealous in protection. That's interesting. Overzealous in protection um, and protecting the family specifically. So there could be a lot of like, how do I describe this? There could just be a lot of like not letting people into the family very much. Like keeping the family line protect. This is interesting. Family line protected. Like that per that kind of person or that kind of, um, oh, we're going there. That kind of ethnicity, that kind of race, that kind of religion does not belong in our family because our family is this specific line. And I'm like, I don't know why that other shit was coming in there, but that's what I'm getting with that. That needs to be resolved. That needs to be healed and let go of. That needs to change. That needs to change. Uh it's thinking of the past. It just needs to be let go of. I'm preaching to the choir here. You guys know who you are. Anyway, let's keep it moving forward because I don't want to stay in that energy. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to the 15th. God, I'm like, we don't have any cards out yet. <laughs> okay. They're telling me that, that phrase again, where there's smoke, there's fire, where there's smoke, there's fire. We have a card out here, but I can't see it yet. It's face down. Virgo, whatever major problem you think is going on, it's way worse than you think it is. It's going to lead you down a rabbit hole that you did not expect. That's not for everybody. I get multiple messages for different people, so just hang in there. Take what resonates. Oh, my God. It's making me shaky. You've been seeing the red flags of this. I feel like it's it's someone's behavior that you live with. feels very masculine. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah, it's going to lead you down a rabbit hole that's going to be very upsetting, but it's truth that needs to come out and it's going to come out. This is also the indicative of the time that we're entering into, okay? Um, a lot of shit's coming out by 2020 and within the first um, half, I'm hearing half actually, first half of 20, wow, it's making me really shaky. Whatever it is, it's going to really disturb you um, at your core. We have two of wands, Aries energy here. Ooh, ooh. Hard to shake that shit off. Um, this is Aries energy. This is choosing a path and knowing which way to go and going with all your might here. But you are leaving an option behind or even a person behind. I do feel an opportunity. An opportunity is being left behind here. It 
this is interesting because it's like I was getting all that fire energy, right? All that fire, very Ace of Wands. And now we have, why am I so shaky with this energy? Now we have this Two of Wands energy basically indicating that you are choosing an Ace of Wands. It feels very creative. It feels like it's something that's really about you, what's important to you, what's important for your soul, what's important for your work. And yes, my energy is different. I feel like some of you guys are saying that right now. Yes, my energy is very different. <laughs> So let's come back from Sedona. Any other messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Virgo? So I'm rising Venus and Jupiter from now to December 15th. Why are they bringing me up in the constellations? <laughs> oh, my reads are so different, guys. Just roll with it. My reads are really different. Oh, oh, I don't think you guys are ready for this. They're, they're literally bringing me up into like galactic stuff. I'm getting serious. I know there's another name for this, but they're saying serious. Oh, Virgo, some of you guys are going to be going through Kundalini awakenings. I think that's what I'm feeling right now, actually. I thought it was anxiety, and I think it started that way. And now I'm like, oh, no, I know what this is. <laughs> I know what this is. Some of you are going to be realizing some of your galactic roots, also indicative of the energy we're in. You're choosing that. Sorry, I'm just noticing the earth that's being held in this person's hand. You're choosing your path. You're choosing your path. You're choosing your purpose and what you're meant to do in the world. Some of you, this has galactic roots behind it. Okay, moving forward. Please forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Virgo, so moon rising Venus and Jupiter from now to December 15th. Ooh, that Kundalini awakening, man. I feel like it's happening really fast for somebody. Like, huh. <laughs> like really fast, really unexpected. Wow. Cool. We have the Empress, which is Venusian, and Queen of Swords and Verse Libra. Heavy Libra energy with this. Um, not going there. I did just hear counterpart. That's interesting. I feel counterpart. Someone could have a strong Aries placement with this energy, actually, because I'm hearing counterpart. To me, that's like counterpart of Aries, right? Anyway. Uh, with this Empress energy and the Queen of Swords in reverse, I actually feel like these are two separate energies. You could be a mother figure by the oh. Got it. Okay. Got it. Okay. Virgo, some of you are standing up to a mother figure. Others of you are a mother figure who is no longer going to be, um, how do I, how do I say this about sounding? I was going to say familial. So like Empress energy that I'm feeling is very family oriented. And it's not that you're not going to prioritize your family. You're just putting you first. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Some of you are going to feel a lot of guilt with that. Let that go. Let that go. Okay. Following your purpose. Following your purpose is going to help you uh, be the person you're supposed to be, including the person you need to be for your family. Okay. Please import any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Ooh. Hangman, Piscean energy. You're going to spend some time meditation thinking about this. I also feel that your decision here of choosing you, choosing your path, choosing your purpose is going to stun some people. One person in particular. Wow, really shaky from your energy, Virgo. Let's go ahead and get into your actual reading since we're 30, 13 minutes in. Okay, okay. So guys, I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again because I know a lot of you have been with me for a long time. I'm very different now from <laughs> after this last um, Sedona trip. I've been there many times before. I love it there. Um, this last time was very different. It definitely changed... Um, I'll not change. I'll say amplified my abilities and how I receive energy. And I'm I'm acclimating. I'm acclimating. And I'm just really feeling your energy right now, Virgos. And a lot of you are having some anxiety stuff. A lot of you are feeling guilt. Some of you are going through a Kundalini awakening. So I'm feeling all of that right now for different groups of you. It's just a lot of energy. Okay. If you're having panic attacks, please address that and meditate more, please. Any messages for Virgos regarding love from now till December 15th? Any messages for Virgos regarding love from now to December 15th? So you guys are asking about the changes I'm going to make to the channel. You guys really pay attention. <laughs> uh, yes, I will be making changes to the channel. I will be doing a video on that when the time is right, and it will be before January, okay? But don't worry about those changes right now. Any messages for Virgos? Regarding love from now to December 15th. 
Ooh, we got a page of cups here. I feel, ooh, this feels really positive. I like this. I like this. I feel a lot of really honest communication with this. Definitely, be, I feel like you're receiving it, Virgo. You're receiving it. This could also be between you and a child. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, some of you can have a really honest communication with a child. Feels like a boy. Hold on, what's this about? I feel like it, oh, this is interesting. Um, for some, it's just about their happiness, their well-being. Um, you're going to be brought to tears. It feels very positive. I don't want to go further than that because I feel like it's going to be really special and a bit of a surprise. I'm going to leave that for you, for the, whoever that's for. Oh. Others, I feel an honest communication with a child. It definitely feels like a child, a son. It feels like about abilities, actually, realizing the kind of abilities your child has. Even if you already suspected or kind of knew, you're going to really know. <laughs> you're going to really know, and it's going to surprise you. It's going to really surprise you. I do feel music. Now I'm feeling music. What's this about? Oh, some of you are musically inclined, and, and I will be following that passion, as you should. As you should. Um getting a lot of tears. Why am I keep getting tears? Picking up on another group here. Hmm. Oh, I'm not going to cry. It was way too early to cry. Tearful communication. It does feel digital. Any other messages for Virgo? That feels between like two adults. I have to really emphasize that. That feels like between two adults. Any messages for Virgos? Regarding love from now till December 15th. I don't even know what to call this. Guys, the amount of messages I'm getting are, are kind of crazy <laughs> compared to how it's been. Oof. Ah, and there it is. Five of Swords and Judgment. Someone's very determined. I was feeling that determined energy, that like coming in with gusto. Someone really wants to reconcile with you, even if it is just an apology. It was just a tearful apology. Someone does want to reconcile. Someone even wants a second chance. However, we do have star in reverse, Aquarian energy, and not a whole lot of hope here about it, which is why they're going in with gusto. Their approach is going to be hmm, unexpected, unexpected, but very firm. And there will be tears because it will be very emotional here. Okay. Uh, Virgos, it's up to you to decide what you're going to do with it. The ball is going to be in your court, but this person is not very hopeful of the outcome, which is why they're in this desperate mode of making shit happen the way they need it to happen. But it's almost like they know whatever their argument is or whatever they have to say is like they don't they're not really in the right to say it, but they want reconciliation of some kind. At the very least, um, a positive ending to something at the very least, a positive ending. But for some, they're going to try to get a second chance with you here. Oh, yeah. See, we're all on the bottom. Any other messages for Virgo? Any other messages for Virgos regarding love from now to December 15th? Any messages for Virgos regarding love? There's the death card. You know, I felt that shit. Yeah, chariot in reverse. Cancerian with the death card. Scorpio. What is with my camera today? And then we have a king of wands. There's that fire. There's that gusto. Leo energy could also be um, fire or air. <sighs> oh, Virgos. Sorry, I need to figure out a way to like... <sighs> My, my body is basically now acclimating to being able to handle a lot more energy, but it, it's taking some time to settle in here. Yeah, someone's resisting let it, being let go. This person's resisting a death process and it needs to happen, which is why they're clinging so hard because they kind of know it needs to happen. They don't want it to happen. They don't want it to happen. It's almost like they're, they're also wondering how they fell into this predicament with you, which is really interesting. They're like, wait a minute. It's almost like they had a plan. It's almost like they had a plan, but now they're not so confident, right? Now they're really lacking faith in how it's supposed to go. Because like, wait a second, ABC was supposed to happen. And Virgo, you must have done something or something must have changed within you that changed the dynamic here because they really don't see shit going in their favor. And they see like, oh shit, the door's about to close or I'm about to experience an ending with this person. And they're freaking out going into this desperation mode here, okay? Wow. On the bottom, we have, oh, interesting. We've got three of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Yeah. And then we have the three of swords in reverse. Ooh, with the devil. Cappy energy. Yeah. This person can't let go of you, Virgo. But by the looks of it, this person is also obsessed a little bit with the heartache. 
and wanting to to work things out with you wanting to reconcile with you their plan didn't work but i have a feeling whatever their plan was it might have been a little low vibrational or might have been out of fear very fear based here but they they want to to build something with you but virgo it's going to be up to you at the end of the day what you want to do with it y'all got to live your own lives so there's a lot of karma on the board we've got judgment we've got the star we've got the devil that's a lot of karma <laughs> oh and the death card that's like that's a lot of karma and heavy hitter major arcanas uh like I said, guys, we're coming into a time where we need to close out our karmic shit. You'll know deep down if there's something you need to close out. And I think you already know the answer. Okay. Um, but let's look at the Page of Cups. Let's break that down a little bit. See what they have to say. Let me just write our weight for this one. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, Virgo. The Sun, Leo. Uh, Empress, Venusian, which is... um. Uh, you know, Libra, Taurus, sorry, I'm like, I'm flabbergasted. And the Ten of Cups, uh, Piscean Energy, like, they're basically saying to you, Virgo, you're my everything. You're my everything. You're my everything. You're my everything. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. God, the way the cards come out now. Yeah, Two of Cups in reverse, though. Yeah, they, they know there's been a major disconnect here. There's been a major disconnect here. They're going to beg you not to leave. I feel like a begging of not to leave or a begging to work with them or a begging to be like, okay, let's be really honest now. Yeah, yeah, I keep getting this energy that they weren't really honest with you, Virgo, or that they were a little manipulative, a little controlling. King of Wands and Verse can be controlling. Plus, we have the devil here. Um, yeah, I, I feel like however they went about this was not very honest, was not very mature, a little controlling, and it didn't work out. It didn't work in their favor. And now they're looking at you like, you're, you're my everything, please don't go. Please don't go, please don't go, please don't go. But they're doing it from a Five of Swords energy. That's very, again, it's a desperate act. It's a desperate act from someone who feels like they, they have nothing to really gain. Like, no, no, no. How do I say this? It's a desperate act from someone who knows that they really don't have a case to pitch to you. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Virgos, I feel like they felt it. I don't know what that's about. That's got to be for actually most of you they're telling me most of you this person felt a shift or felt a major disconnect and now that's why they're panicking because like wait a minute i thought i knew what was happening i thought i had things under control i thought i had things under control they're realizing they don't death card on the bottom they felt something happen there is a shift with you virgo for sure for sure so i have the page of cups for virgo from now to december 15th this could be someone that you're actually in a relationship with that maybe there's just a, you know, a rift or maybe you guys haven't been on the same page and they really feel like, oh shit, whatever this little shift is that my Virgo's having, they're walking away for good. You know, it could definitely be a situation like that, like you're already committed to this person. It could be someone who's tried to keep you on a leash. Yeah, star, Aquarian energy. They, yeah, they look at you like you're their everything, Virgo. They're convinced. They're convinced that you're their everything. Play around with the Page of Cups for Virgo from now to December 15th. Virgo, you might have experienced a tower moment to cause this little shift for yourself. Sorry, I'm just tapping into it. Yeah, Virgo, you experienced a shift definitely feels like almost like a tower moment tower moment can be a, a realization it doesn't have to be like my life's falling apart it could you know it could just be a realization or an awakening some of you it's a kundalini awakening that's making you shift yeah some of you it's the kundalini awakening making you shift and freaking out your your person here um others of you it's something you experience with your external environment like your friends or your family that's put things into perspective for you causing a change within yourself yeah, also think of a retire moment. Those are the shifts I'm feeling within you guys. Tell me about the Page of Cups for Virgo. Tell me about the Page of Cups for Virgo. <sighs> Sorry, just really in your heart chakras. Um, Virgo, shake the anxiety. I'm feeling massive anxiety all of a sudden. It might be from this person. Yeah. The anxiety is from this person, from this King of Wands in reverse, but I'm feeling guilt on your end, Virgo. So I'm with the Page of Cups. If it's vice versa, yeah. If it's vice versa, it's vice versa. Just as I said that. 
Ten of Swords. There's the pain. Overall energy, we do have Knight of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, this person is trying to change the circumstances because they felt the shift with you. Okay. <sighs> yeah, they felt the shift with you, whether it was just, um, if, whether it was an awakening, like a Kundalini awakening, um, or an experience you had with friends or family member that shifted your perspective, changing you. Either way, there's a shift within you, they feel it, and they've lost control of the situation. So they're coming in to change things again, to cause change to go, yeah, to cause more change to go back to, yeah, it kind of does feel like to go back to how things were. They just see that you're their everything and they can't, they can't let you go. They can't, they can't risk losing you. They can't risk that. They can't risk the death of their, their dream Ooh, or the death of their destiny. Well, you can't kill destiny. Destiny is destiny. Whatever's meant for you is what's meant for you. But this person feels like you're their destiny and they feel like the door is closing because they mishandled the situation. I mean, I don't even feel like they need to clarify more cards. It feels very straightforward to me. But like I said, they're very determined here. Very determined. And I don't love the Five of Swords energy that much. But let's go ahead and look at it. See more of why it's here. Oh, oh. wow. The anxiety is so real. I feel like when this conversation happens, and it feels teary-eyed. It does. It feels very teary-eyed. They're going to be bursting with anxiety. Talk about the Five of Swords. Talk about the Five of Swords for Virgo from now to December 15th. You know what's best for you, Virgo. I can already feel you guys asking me, well, what should I do? Should I, should I accept? Should I not accept? That is your choice, and you have the answers within you for that. Talk okay. about the Five of Swords. Yes, you do. Someone just said, no, I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And please don't binge watch tarot readings to get the answer. You know the answer. You know the answer. Tell out Five of Swords for Virgo from now to December 15th. Tell about the Five of Swords for Virgo. Ace of, yeah, Ace of Pentacles in a verse. Missed opportunity. For those who are actually with this person, it's about the instability that you two have together. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for those who are actually in a committed relationship with this person, it's about like how uh, how things are so unstable. So unstable. Um, for those where you've walked away from this person or there's already been a separation and they've kind of been trying to keep you on a leash or energetically been pulling on you, like, come here come here Virgo like doing some of that shit um they, they realize what what a golden up yeah oh golden compass interesting golden compass um they've missed out on I don't know why I want to call you the golden compass I don't know I honestly don't know exactly what that's referring to other than it just seems like something that's um uh, precious and prized um you're their sense of direction oh that's interesting oh oh this person's got some healing to do Virgo um you're their sense of direction but I also feel like that's a little codependent, codependent, a little codependent. You can't rely on someone else for your sense of direction. That's that all comes from within. This person has been relying on you for where to go, which is why they keep tugging on you. Whether you're with them or not with them, that's why they keep tugging on you. And now that you're about to be like gone, they're freaking the fuck out because they don't know what to do without you. Oh, you know, this is codependency. And no wonder they're trying to control the situation. They need healing. Time about five of swords. Talk about Five of Swords for Virgo from now to December 15th. Talk about Five of Swords for Virgo from now to December 15th. Talk about the Five of Swords for Virgo from now to December 15th. Overall energy, yeah, Knight of Wands. Oh, shit. Wow. Wow. That is some persistent-ass energy. Knight of Wands just... Knight of Wands. <laughs> Excuse me. Knight of Wands is Sag. Tells me Aries are Leo with the Seven of Wands is Leo energy. A lot of freaking fire here, guys. And the Five of Swords, Aquarian energy, Venus, and Aqua to be specific. This is someone who's like, I'm getting what I want, and I will do anything I have to do, fight off whoever I have to fight off to keep it. To keep it or to go after it, to get it. To get it, to have it. And for some, it is to keep. 
they're not going to take no for an answer for a cups in reverse but virgo i know some of y'all are going to say no <laughs> so i don't know how this conversation is going to go um but they're very persistent they're very fucking persistent especially with the way they look at you are you kidding me yeah, I just keep getting that like they're not going to let their destiny die or not let their destiny get away from them. But at the same time, it's like whatever's meant for you is meant for you. But they feel like the door's closing. <sighs> yeah, there's some karma that really needs to be wrapped up here with all these cards. I mean, my God, we got the Wheel of Fortune, got the Star, got the Devil, got the Death card. I mean, God, what? Oh, yeah, duh, and Judgment. What other karmic cards are going to come out here? There's a lot of karma wrapped up in this that does need to get resolved, Virgo, one way or another. Whether you just show this person the door or you give this person a second chance. But this is not exactly the era of second chances that we're living in right now. And I'm not saying totally close the door on this person because at the end of the day, you make that choice. You're the master of your own life. I'm just acting as a guide. But that's what I know about the time we're in right now. Okay? All right. That being said, let's get some advice. Yeah, my readings are so different now. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, very different. Very, very different. Um, I actually feel pulled for the goddess deck for you guys. So let's go ahead with that. What's the best energy for my Virgos to harness? Don't worry, I'll still do the animal one. I'll still do the animal one. But this feels really needed right now. What's the best energy for my Virgos to harness? Regarding this spread. Ooh. Or angels and ancestors. Oh, God. I'm getting all pulled in all kinds of directions for you. Okay, we're putting up a whole lot of advice, Virgo. What's the best energy for my Virgos to harness regarding this spread? And I can tell you right now this person has to heal. They have to. I'm sorry. I'm like, I know, I'm being very blunt since I got back. It's just, it's just a change that needed to happen within myself. But yeah, this person needs to heal. They need to stop resisting this death process. They need to stop and just let, let it let it happen so they can grow. Let's see here. Ooh. Vast independence. Oh, very nice. You, your independence is a foundation for your strength and success, Virgos. That's definitely from my empresses here. And we did get that already with the Empress and the Queen of Swords in the pre-shuffle, right? We definitely picked up on that. Let's see what other ones want to come out here. What other energies, energies should my Virgos harness regarding this spread? What's in their best interest energy-wise to harness regarding this spread? Oh, that's it. All right. So let's go ahead and read these off. I like to use the book for this one. Some, some Oracle cards, I feel like the descriptions are best to be spoken as just as far as like my, the, Jesus, beyond my interpretation. Um, there is always seems to be something that stands up for people when I go back and look at the comments, okay? Vast, independent. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. Like the cat, you're fiercely independent, yet you also need affection and playful companions. Now is the time to balance your social interactions with solitude. While you may ask others for their opinions, ultimately you may make your own decisions. Your freedom and independence are top priorities, so ensure that these characteristics are nurtured. Spend time alone, give yourself permission to play, ask for your needs to be met, make your own decision, work with cats, pay attention to your pet feline, or go and get a new cat. A lot of cats about to be adopted. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, Bast, the uh, Egyptian goddess, uh, transforms into a cat each night and protects her family and those who call upon her with all seeing night vision. She exhibits the cat like traits of the feminine which include gracefulness, independence, playfulness, and intuition. Bast also works with cat lovers to help their feline companions. The daughter of the sun god Ra, Bast has the rare distinction of being both a moon and a sun goddess. Sorry, I was like, I realized I was like so reflecting, but there you go. And interestingly enough, what's on the bottom? I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this correctly. Ishtar? I think it's Ishtar. Boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others demands on your time and energy oh we're reading this one okay definitely feel like that fits and then we'll go ahead and do the animals here it's like i can get there we go if i mispronounce these i apologize Okay, Ishtar, love yourself enough to say no to others demands on your time and energy. A sincere desire to give of service is wonderful. However, there's a distinction between giving of yourself and giving up yourself. If you feel tired, guilty, or resentful while helping others, then you're not truly helping them, are you? 
you're in you're injecting poisonous energies into the relationship and then no one benefits step back and re reassess the situation as you respect your own boundaries others will begin to recognize and respect them within you and within themselves as well now that's a healthy behavior to reach to, to teach to others you're giving too much become more <laughs> become more assertive don't do things out of guilt <laughs> guilt or obligation She's been worshipped and invoked since ancient Ab Abalonian times. Wow, really testing my speaking skills here. As the embodiment of Venus's womanly energy, Ishtar represents the divine feminine in all of her aspects, including nurturing, mothering, sensuality, fertility, healing, protection, and wisdom. As a multidimensional goddess, Ishtar doesn't tire of helping the men and women who call upon her for assistance. Virgo, I think that says it all. But we're still going to do animals, because how could we not? How could we not? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? And, and my men's. You can also harness this energy. You don't have to be a female to harness that. Tap into your inner feminine there. Any advice for my Virgos? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? One more. Any advice for my Virgos? Ooh, hi. Regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Thank you. Ooh, Bobcat Spirit. Life is a mystery. And isn't it so? <laughs> Life is definitely a mystery. Um, you know, but there is this energy we're picking up on early on about peacemaker. Or peacemaker. This is just peacekeeper. Yeah, essentially the same thing there. Um, but peacekeeper, like holding on, holding on, holding on. Virgo, some of you might be holding on to a situation or trying to keep a situation intact, even though it feels very chaotic for you to do so, because it is something that you already know. It's something you're already familiar with, and some of you might be really scared as to venturing off into the new or the unknown. It's okay to not know where you're going, as long as you know in your heart that you can't be where you are anymore. You know what I mean? Um, people get really stuck in a lot of situations because they're just too afraid to venture off into the new and what the universe has in store for them, even though they know if they move forward or just move out of what they're in, things will be better. They will be happier. They won't have anxiety. They won't have that chaos. It's okay to not know. It kind of makes life interesting. If we always knew, life would not be interesting, right? So just uh, get in touch with that for those Virgos suffering with that. Sorry, I just had a thought. Actually, I'm going to write that thought down. Give me a second. Okay, sorry. Okay. Any other advice for my Virgos regarding the spread? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding the spread? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Ooh, grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith, 30 break down to a three, that is my full card. And what was I just saying? A lot of people are afraid to just take that leap into the unknown, the epitome of the full card. It's okay to do it. It's okay to leave the things you already know. It's okay to leave what is comfortable. And sometimes being comfortable holds us back, right? Some of you are definitely falling into that trap of comfortability. Oh, very nice. Scarab beetle spirit. Magic works through you. This is an energy of being chosen or being unique or having something special to offer. It's also a manifestation energy. Virgos, you have a lot to offer the world. You have a lot to offer wherever it is you're going. Whatever purpose you're realizing is your purpose, whatever path that entails, 
it is unique to you, okay? And you need to use whatever skills you have to bring to the table that are unique to yourself and wherever it is you're going. You have a, be a greater purpose than what you're doing right now. You have a greater purpose than the person that you are wrapped up in right now regarding this crazy little energy, right? And you know that deep down. I know you know that deep down, Virgo. So just keep tapping into that and don't forget that. And it's, again, don't forget that it's okay to go into the unknown and to not be comfortable doing it. That's how we grow. That's how we learn, right? Is by being uncomfortable. Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Oh, that's it on the bottom. Oh, very nice. Adaptability. Act as if. Adapt to the situation at hand. Venture into the unknown because you know it's in your highest good, at least as far as the energy is, is concerned. And like I said, you're the masters of your own life. You decide what's best for you. But you are unique. You have a unique skill set and your purpose is right in front of you. Your path that will nurture your purpose is right in front of you. It just depends if you're willing to take it or not. Right? And yeah, it's going to be uncomfortable, but you'll adapt. We always adapt. Unless you stay still and just keep doing what you're used to. You're never going to have that newness. You're never going to have those new opportunities to grow. We don't, we're not really born in our purpose. You know what I mean? It's like when we're born, our parents raise us and we're there. That's not usually where our purpose still is, right? It's like life is a journey to grow and to learn, to get you to your purpose, to go and grow and do other shit, right? Um, anyway, going really off track here, guys. But Virgos, essentially, I hope you really enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to check out Patreon and Vimeo on Instagram as well. And I will see you guys later, okay? Have a great night, Virgos. Namaste.